What's up guys, today we're going to be finally going over the Kvostov, and in my opinion, this is a top 3 exotic primary in PvE in the game currently. This scene is an absolute beast for any content in the game, any build, any character, it is just really really good. So in this video, we're going to be quickly going over exactly what it does, breaking down its damage, and why this is just a must-have exotic primary that you should be using. So first, with the exotic perk, every 7th bullet from this weapon deals additional damage and ricochets to nearby targets. And this has a base mag of 43, so you should get 6 of the 7th rounds. And those bullets are going to hit for 11,724, up from 3326, which is going to be quite a large increase to every 7th bullet. And they will ricochet, but without the secondary part of this weapon, the ricochet isn't that strong. And every 7th round is going to be a 3.53x damage increase, or a 253% buff. But now with the secondary perk Eyes Up Guardian, collecting orbs of power strengthens this weapon's next several ricochet shots, providing more damage and more bounces between targets. So now looking at that, all we have to do is simply pick up an orb, and when we do that, we'll get Eyes Up Guardian time 7. This is not time based at all, and what this will do will make it ricochet more and the ricochet itself do more damage. So looking at that, now when they ricochet, it's only hit for 8,014. And it's on ricochet up to six times as we'll see. And that's what happened every seventh shot in your magazine when you pick up an orb up to the first seven times. And this will ricochet up to six times. And for most content in the game, all the red bars nearby are just simply going to die. It is just a lot of damage. So the ricochet damage is 8014, which is 2.4x the base damage of the weapon. And with all six ricochets, a total of 48,000 total damage to enemies nearby and this weapon has shoot to loot on it which at first glance might just seem like okay that's kind of cool to pick up ammo for boss fights and raids where you don't want to walk around and pick up the special and heavy well shoot to loot also works on orbs of power which is how the main buff of this weapon works so now you don't even have to walk around to pick up the orbs you create throw on a kinetic siphon get a double kill create an orb instead of having to go walk and get it just shoot it and you'll get eyes up guardian time seven be ready to absolutely destroy everything in the room. Then when you do that, you'll create at least one more orb, shoot it, and rinse and repeat, and you just will always have Eyes Up Guardian with this weapon at all times. Shoot to Lose is also great for builds in general. A lot of times you're not going to be walking over every single orb you create. With this, you can just shoot it, and you'll get two stacks of armor charge with stacks on stacks. Make sure you have all of your armor charges ready whenever you use your ability with like grenade kickstart or whatever it is. Also this season when you shoot an orb, you'll get radiant through the artifact. So just all around a great perk on this weapon and just great for builds in general. So talking about how much damage this weapon simply puts out, look at the rate of fire of one magazine. It's exactly 4.2 seconds, which means the DPS just the bullets with the 7th shots is going to be 46,000 which is very high for a primary already. Comparing that to a normal 600 RPM AR, they only do 26.2 thousand at base. So Kvostov is already way higher. Sonic primaries just hit really hard. And if we add in the max ricochet damage on every seventh shot, the DPS goes over 114,000 on a primary. So yeah, that is pretty high. And that is why I think Kvostov is a top three exotic primary. This scene is in the leagues of Sunshot and Graft Homelands, in my opinion, of just raw damage output and act clear for an exotic primary. I think you might be able to make the case that Sunshot is still number one. I think Kvasov is very, very close though. Both weapons just do a lot of damage to targets and then do great AoE act clear in two different ways. Sunshot is going to be on kill, create the chain explosions, while this is going to be every seventh bullet just passively ricochet to nearby targets and do a lot of damage that way. So in a way, the Kvostov might be better for harder content where it doesn't require a kill to actually do the chain damage. While with a Sunshot, you first have to get a final blow to get the chain damage going. But I do think Kvostov is definitely better than Graviton Lance. Graviton Lance still might be better in like the right build. But in my opinion, if you're looking at like the best all around exact like primaries in the game, Sunshot and Kvostov are right there one and two. Really depends on the content and your playstyle. Then number three, in my opinion, would be Graviton Lance. And what makes Sunshot and Kvostov just so good is that they're true plug and play weapons that don't really need any build to make them shine. Just simply putting them on on any subclass, any character, any build, it will work. 
all you have to do is simply create orbs. So the best new prismatic build to take advantage of Kvostov is going to be the getaway artist stasis turret build because you don't need any weapon final blows. You don't need anything to make this build work. Just simply eat your grenade and you'll make the bleak watcher turrets. You will have the arc buddy, all of which will proc devour, make orbs, pick them up, go crazy with Kvostov, and you'll just constantly have your grenade and just keep eating it. But like I said, you can make it work on any build in the game. There are really no requirements to make Kvostov good. It's just a great passive exotic primary that you just put on and you're gonna get the full benefit. And just mousing through my getaway artist build that I've changed a little bit to work with Kvostov and the mods, you can slow down if you need to. I will also link this version of the build in the description. And yeah, I think that's kind of it for the video. This scene is just incredible in PvE. In my opinion, number two, maybe number one, is just really hard to beat the Sunshot, but just the raw damage output of the scene to the target itself with the bullets and the surrounding area with the ricochets is just so high for a primary weapon. And given the fact that it does not require any kill activations to get the perk going, I think makes it excel even more in harder content compared to something like the Sunshot. So all around, just one of the greatest weapons in the game currently that if you haven't used yet or have tried out in harder content, you definitely should. This is definitely a weapon I can foresee myself using more and more like in harder content when it comes out. Maybe GMs, this build in particular I'm using right here on screen. I'm doing it in the Nightfall and I can definitely see myself using this in the GM. This entire build is just so passive that I think it'll just be great for content where you don't really have the ability to chain kills. And that is where this really shines compared to Sunshot and things like that. Also, this build easily covers all three champions. You have a sidearm on for unstoppable this season, then for overload, slowing them with the stasis turret. And when you shoot an orb, you will get radiant through the artifact or in future seasons, simply by mailing, you will also get radiant to break the barrier shields. I believe in future seasons, you could just change around your secondary slot to match wherever the unstoppable is. But you could also just shatter a unstoppable target by letting your stasis turn freeze them and that will also stop them so overall just many options for champions not only this season but just in any season anyways i think in the rest of the video will just be some gameplay like usual links watching catch you guys next time